Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Tuesday, September 26th, 2023. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Travel executives from some of the industry's most important companies will be speaking at the 10th annual Skift Global Forum this week in New York City. And they'll address a wide range of topics. When it comes to the future of travel, Skift's CEO and founder Rafid Ali has outlined four major themes that will impact travel the most. Demographic shifts, the widespread loneliness crisis, the evolving future of work, and the urgent need for climate adaptation. All pose significant challenges but also opportunities. As the world's population ages rapidly, the travel industry can craft experiences for an older yet increasingly active population. To address loneliness, it can create group travels centered around shared interests and themes. Next, hospitality group Innismore has taken major steps to market its all-inclusive resorts. In its push for 100 resorts by 2027, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. The company's all-inclusive resort collection currently has 38 properties, and Innismore co-CEO Gaurav Bhushan expressed confidence his company could stand out in a segment that O'Neill notes is typically dominated by generic offerings. Finally, tourism-dependent destinations such as Morocco and Maui have been decimated by natural disasters recently. Associate editor Rashad Jordan turns to Ask Skift, our artificial intelligence chatbot, to find out how events like earthquakes and wildfires impact tourism. As the aftermath of natural disasters often includes massive trip cancellations, Jordan writes Maui might see a decrease in visitors for the foreseeable future. Analysts at TD have predicted that Maui's rebound would, quote, take years, end quote citing the two-year recovery for air travel demand to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Irma in 2017. Meanwhile, one Moroccan-based expert said the tourism to Marrakesh, near the recent earthquake's epicenter, would suffer for years, adding relying on the industry to revive would be illogical. However, Moroccan hotel managers have said business is gradually returning, especially with the upcoming World Bank Group annual meeting in Marrakesh. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com daily. Hey, Skift listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Flapitas. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.